Well, welcome back here to uh, part two of the uh, Northern Pacific Streamliner project. I'm not really sure what uh, I'm really modeling any specific um, streamliner. I suppose North Coast Limited, I guess, would be uh, the most appropriate. So, uh, but I'm just uh, I'm not really following any particular prototype. I'm just painting the engines and painting the cars and uh, trying to come up with a, a nice looking set. So, here we go again. Well, I decided to try uh, some of the other decals on that sheet of uh, decals that I tried uh, using in the previous video. Um, the very first piece I tried to apply was this uh, little pine tree logo or stripe on the front of the uh, logo here. And immediately the darn thing came apart in the water and I suspected the rest of the decals would be just as bad, but uh, they're not uh, too bad. They're doing okay here. So I do have another set of decals ordered and on their way. But uh, looking at this model here, you can see I've added some decals and the uh, stripes here really help to kind of clean up the, the uh, flaws in the taping and the masking. So they're doing pretty well here. There are some little spots here where the stripes weren't quite long enough to wrap around the end. And I've got some, like I say, I've got some more decals coming and we'll use the extra sets to patch up where we need to. But aside from that, uh, that big piece that um, fell apart for the nose here, um, the rest of them are doing okay. And We'll do some work on the other side here. I haven't put any on the other side yet, but I'll show you what I was working on here. But these decals <laughs> are so darn tiny and thin. They really take a lot of work to get them come on here straight. Another thing I've applied is a little plug for the number board there. Let me see that back off here a little bit. If you can get a good picture of it, but it's a little tiny plug for um, the number board and all it is is just a real thin piece of styrene that I cut to shape there and I'll paint it black and the paint I think will help kind of fill in around the edges there so it doesn't look so rough but just uh, trying to fill in those number boards uh, as mentioned in the earlier video there was no insert there's no glazing there was no nothing for that and because the numbers are going to be uh, white numbers on a black background I thought well it's gonna be hard to try to come up with any sort of illumination for that so I'm just gonna go ahead with unilluminated boards which is kind of a bummer but um, I don't know what quite what else to do to make that work so if I ever do come up with something else well then maybe that little plug can be removed and we'll put something else in there but for now uh, I'm gonna paint that black and the number number board will look okay I think after that and the stripes, uh, I try to get them real straight here if I can. I try to eyeball the model down the length here and they're looking okay, look pretty good. They're just a, maybe a teeny bit crooked here and there, but they are really tiny decals and uh, take a little time to uh, uh, get those on there and get them to set right. So we'll look at the other side here and We'll try to put on some decals here. It's a little tough for me to uh, operate the camera and work on the model at the same time. So I'm gonna try to put this up on a tripod and see if I can get uh, uh, some, demonstrate how these decals are going on the model here. So lots of little stuff yet to add. Um, this side was basically stripes and titles. And those uh, color lines, those uh, yellow decals really help Kind of pop out the colors here a little bit so it's looking looking pretty nice you can see from the other side it looked a little drab and not very crisp but once the decals are on on this side uh it doesn't look too bad so we'll continue with that and i'll we'll look on the other side here and you can see what's going on and how much uh, care has to be taken to put these little tiny decals on here okay now if you can see this there's the decal for the uh, stripe around the portal. We're going to put this decal on here and float this in the water and see if it'll 
separate from the paper for me before I apply it to the model. So we'll float it in here for a bit, see if I can get it to separate off the paper and then we'll put it on the model. Right, this is separating from the paper, the backing here. So before it separates completely, I'll fish it out of here. And give this a try here. So we can see what the heck we're doing. Can use a brush to help push this off the paper. And it's loose, you can see how, see if I can zoom in on this a little bit. And it's very fragile. It would be a lot, a lot easier if the film would cover the whole stripe here, but it doesn't. So I'm going to try to work this off of here. Guess I'm glad I'm not a Z-scale modeler at this point. <laughs> Okay, it's a little bit crooked, but expecting that. We'll lift this off the paper. It's such a tiny little decal here. Easy to get it crooked. Okay, it's on there. Now, I'm going to try to straighten it out here. Oops, I got a piece from the other decal on there yet on my knife. Get that out of there. Okay, add some water here to loosen this up so it doesn't stick right away. <clears throat> Whoops, it's falling down inside the portal. There we go. Whoops, trying to keep the, trying to do, do the work here and keep it in the camera view at the same time. So pardon me if I drift out of view here occasionally. I'm trying to concentrate on the decals and the camera. Straighten this out a little bit. The knife helps to grip the decal a little bit because the brush won't always get it. And just be careful you don't grab too hard with the knife or you might break the decal. And let's see, do a little dab here. A little too much water. Try to dry this out a little bit. And Trying to get this stripe right along the separation line between the two colors here. Whoop, a little crooked there. Now when the decals get on here, it helps to cover up some of the flaws of the uh, painting here. My masking wasn't the greatest in some cases here. Whoop, trying to get this little spare piece of decal out of here that was stuck to my knife. Er. Come on, there we go, get rid of that. Okay, trying to eyeball this down the side here a little. It still needs a little work. I don't want it to get too dry before I have it in position, so I'll use the brush to help move it around a little more. And it gets hung up on some of the details on the car body here. Okay, take a closer look at this and you can't see me but I take off my glasses here because I can't see the close work. Whoops, you can't see it either. There we go. I can't see this close work sometimes here. Whoops, sorry about that. It's hard to work on this and pay attention to the camera at the same time. So I think I got this in good spot here. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna compare to the other side here. There we go. I think it's on there pretty well, do a little more, more, a little more dab here with the tissue paper. And even tissue paper can 
move these stripes here a little bit. Oops. Okay, I think that's pretty close here. Maybe up up the side a little bit. There, I think that's pretty close. About as close as I'm gonna get, so I'll leave it there. All right. Well, that's all right. Trying to move on here with this uh, project. Now, Microscale and their infinite wisdom did not even provide enough yellow stripe to even finish uh, one of these units. So I've got two more sets on the way. Uh, even with two sets, though, it won't be enough to finish both this piece and this piece. So, a bit frustrating. So, uh, what I'm doing, these are, you can see those, these are stripes for the passenger cars. I've got a few sets of these. Uh, they actually come in about three different widths. This is give you an idea what the full sheet looks like. I've already cut them, but you can barely see those finer lines. But I'm using this middle width here. These are golden, more golden color than the uh, stripes that came with the with the uh, set for the engines. However, once I put those on the cars, they almost come out yellow. Kind of bright yellow and almost match the uh, engines. However, the width is not quite a match. I've got I put one on the B unit. It's uh, still a little bit wrinkly because I just put it on the on the uh, body here, and I got a little solva set on there, trying to get that to lie flat on the model. But you can see they're they're not exact match. Maybe it's hard to tell from the video, but they're close enough. So I'm gonna use these stripes intended for the passenger cars on the B unit, and then by the time I get my other set of stripes for uh, the front unit here then I'll be able to finish that off. I also need the replacements for those uh, pine trees on the front. Those uh, broke up in the first attempt to put those on so I'm awaiting new decals, replacement decals, hopefully fresher decals, not so old and cracked. But uh, I'm going to continue with the stripes on the B unit here. And we'll put another stripe on here. I want to give this one a little chance to settle down because it took time to get that to uh, behave here. So that's what I'm going to do here. We're waiting on that to settle down a bit and then uh, I'm going to continue with this set of stripes on the B unit here and at least if they aren't consistent from this one to that one at least they'll be consistent throughout on the B unit here and they're close. They're not not quite. This one's uh, not, not quite as bright and I think it's just a little bit thinner too so but I'm gonna go ahead with that otherwise I'd have to buy another I think three sets three more sets to get enough stripes just for the stripes for to finish this project so micro scale would it break your back to provide enough stripes for crying out loud okay I'm gonna try another stripe decal here these things are so <laughs> quite long and skinny to say the least okay now come on get it started anyway thing to do get a little water on here to help move it around a little bit and I'm gonna go for the knife Let's see if I can get a little closer on here so you can see what's happening this stripe is not quite on there right yet but
lamp of setting solution here. There, not too bad. Looks a little shiny still on uh, those stripes there. It'll take a little time for them to settle down. close to getting the shell for the the B unit done here. I've got stripes on here. I've got the little doorstep uh, kick plate decals on here. Next thing I'm going to try this little thing right down here. If you can see that that little tiny decal has got if you can focus on it has got two little letter F's on it. Take my word for it. They're there. And these are so tiny, I'm not going to dip it in the bowl, but I'm going to just work on the glass plate right here and just kind of get a dab of water going here and try to loosen these up uh, right on the plate here because they're so small. If they get lost in the water, I'll never find them again. And uh, so when those loosen up, I'll work them off with the knife and the brush. And apparently there's supposed to be a little F in the front of this unit here. So, give a minute here and they'll get that on there. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, um, I've managed to loosen these little decals off the paper and they're floating in a little drop of water on my glass. There's one F right there and there's another one right here. <laughs> so, the next trick is to try to pick these up with my brush and get them on the engine here. Now this one lifted off. I think I got it on here. You can barely see this little thing. A little tiny yellow tip on the end of my brush. That's the F. And I put it on the F of this engine here. There. There is a little tiny F on the engine if you can see it. Probably not, but <laughs> hang on, back this off a bit. There. A little yellow blob is an F. And if it's not in the right place, well, we'll get it close enough. Now I gotta put the other one on the other side. Alright, you have to take my word for it, but managed to get this little letter F on the shell here. Really tiny, probably some of the tiniest decals here. So looks like I need a little more solve set on here to get this stripe to lie flat. And uh, almost done with the uh, one, one side of the B unit here. Well, for now we are done with the B unit shell here. Got the stripes on, uh, went pretty quick and easy, um, pretty simple decal job here because it wasn't uh, a lot of curved lines and other things here. I'm still waiting for replacement set for the uh, A unit here. Um, hope that comes in the mail here soon and we can continue on that project. Um, there's a little teeny tiny couple of decals here. There's a road number and a letter F there on the front. Take my word for it. They're there. Um, on one side though however I had to uh, try to cut, this is what I was cutting these uh, numbers from, this little tiny <laughs> this strip. It's got some numbers left on there, but that's what I, I cut that road number from. And 
when I cut it, I cut it a little too short. So <laughs> I actually had to try to splice on one more number in that uh, to get that full number there. So trust me, it's a road number. <laughs> so we're gonna uh, hit this with some uh, dull coat and put the glass back in, put it back on the chassis and call this one done. There's a couple other smaller decals that I need to put on there. I haven't quite identified what they are yet. They're so tiny, but I think for now I'm just gonna go with this and and uh, be done with that so alrighty well at least you got the B unit done the glass is back in on the little portals and the shell is back on the body uh, I'm thinking I might paint the uh, inside of the chassis a little bit of black there because the uh, you can see those right through the portals to the silver or the metal chassis there and it uh, doesn't look real convincing so I might put a patch of black paint on there later to fill that in <laughs> make those portals look a little dark not so white like that or bright the way they look so anyway I think this turned out pretty well uh, stripes are always tough tough to do and they're so fine and thin and I did use a different set for the stripes and I hope they will pass for match with the A unit. They're just a slightly different width and slightly different color but um, I think they're gonna be okay. So when the decals arrive, replacement decals arrive for the A unit then we'll get working on that and try to finish this thing up. Well, I'm going to give you a little demonstration of what I'm doing to strip these uh, car bodies and get them ready for painting. Depend the color is so weird in here in this room, but uh, anyway, uh, this one I'm using for stripping the paint. Um, just poured it uh, into a big bowl here and just put the car bodies in here and let them soak for about 10 minutes. And I've also got rooftops. I'll set those in there and let them soak. The bowl's gotten a little shallow now because I've used a lot of this fluid here for removing paint. But let those sit for about 10 minutes and we'll, uh, the paint comes right off. Pretty slick. line uh, is growing here. You can see all these car bodies that have been stripped and cleaned. Uh, once the uh, paint remover bath is done, I just rinse out, clean up everything with water. Um, I've got a few tops here, car tops. Uh, are, those are come, came out nice and clean. Uh, those will be painted. I've started to mask some of these for painting. They're all going to have a black roof on them, so I've got a mask, just a real simple uh, tape mask around those. Those will be painted soon. Uh, and this project was begun a long, long time ago. Uh, gosh, at least maybe 15, 20 years ago when I first started painting these cars. So uh, it's been hard to find the, uh, the colors again. I did get a new bottle of, of uh, paint here, that I, this Northern Pacific light green. However, it's a little darker than my original bottle, which is a good 10, 15 years older. And that's the one I used to paint the uh, engine shells. Um, so I hope 
Uh, the shade change or difference isn't too much here. I'm trying to mix them up thoroughly before I use them. If they, if this turns out to be just a little too green, it's a little darker green than what this is, um, I think I'm maybe adding a little yellow just to uh, uh, help make the colors match because I've already got a fair start on, you can see I've got about, oh, what, six car bodies that I've already done. This one is pretty much complete. Uh, however, I made a mistake on this one. I used the wrong size stripe on the top. It should have been the narrow stripe on the that's on the bottom here. So um, this one's pretty much done too. It just needs wheels. Um, but again, I used the wrong size stripe. So uh, it's a little mismatch. Um, but I don't really want to strip those. And maybe maybe it won't be so bad once they get all the other cars done. But uh, we got uh, quite a few cars here ready to go for painting and uh, that'll be the next part of the project once I get this shell done. Still waiting for decals. But I just wanted to give you a little overview on what's to come here. All these cars are going to be uh, painted. It's an easy paint job. It's just, you know, uh, the car bodies would be painted the dark green and then a stripe of light green down the middle a black roof and it's real easy the tough part is getting those little hairline uh, Stripes on there. I put one on here, and it's a little bit crooked I get up. Maybe I might take that off and try it again, but it, it's really hard to get these Really hairline stripes on there straight so when they're the full car body length So there we go. We'll be painting uh, car bodies here in a little while while we wait for uh, more supplies to come. I've got more paint ordered and decals ordered so uh, I'm at a standstill for now but doing what I can. I'll be painting the roofs here and, and uh, getting ready for the rest of the, uh, the paint and decals to arrive. Now all the black rooftops have been painted. They turned out pretty well. Pull the mask off there once the paint has had a chance to dry and move on to the car bodies. This is a pretty easy paint job for the uh, for the cars here. Alrighty, well these uh, uh, rooftops turned out very well. They're all been painted black. They're all ready to, to go. They're kind of shiny actually, but uh, I'll be putting uh, some dull coat on these things uh, so they aren't quite so bright and shiny, but they look great though. So they all turned out well. Um, one little, of course, tip I uh, always try to adhere to, but don't always do that, is uh, always try to use some fresh paint in your airbrush because I had a heck of a time trying to paint this uh, shell. Uh, because the paints I had were quite old and that was probably <laughs> part of the trouble I had for having to stop about three times to clean the airbrush. So fresher paint, new paints uh, certainly make a difference. Um, I didn't have any problem with the black. That's a new bottle of black paint I used. I've got some more paint on the way uh, for the, uh, the two different tones of green on here. So um, I've gone about as far as I can. I suppose I could put a few more decals on here, but uh, I think you get an idea for the process of the decals here. I don't want to get too tedious here. This video has gotten quite long as it is. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, stay tuned for a little supplemental I put on the end of the uh, video on here. I found a new uh, use for a little tool I've got, and I thought it was kind of interesting. So I'll stick that on the end of the video here, and you can take a peek at that. But uh, thanks for coming, thanks for staying. That's all from the, uh, the messy workbench here today and uh, we'll try to get back to this uh, once all my uh, supplies uh, arrive and we will try to continue with the uh, Northern Pacific Streamliner project. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks so much for all the uh, uh, support and interest. Good luck with all your projects and happy railroading. Thanks for coming, thanks for staying, thanks for watching. We'll see you next month, bye-bye. Hey, I want to talk to you about an uh, idea I came up with, I discovered. Uh, if you're like me, you have a real hard time reading some of these decal sheets, uh, especially in the smaller scales. Um, this one I can make out most of the things on here, uh, but there's another little strip I got from another set that all I can see is this big, and there's little yellow marks on there. I have no idea 
what they are. However, I came up with an idea of making it easier to read these things. A while back, I got this little scope. If you can see this, it's meant for looking in your ear and it comes with a little scoop on the end. I took that off, but it's made for taking care of things in your ear and it plugs into my computer and I can see the image on this little tiny camera. And I was trying to figure out a way to read some of these really small um, decals. And it occurred to me, hey, this little thing can get up nice and close and bright. See the light on it? And I'll show you what this thing can see. Okay, here's a look at my computer screen. And I'm holding this little probe right over the decal sheet and I get the glare off of there. I can actually read what some of these decals are. There's one that says danger up here. You see it? You can actually read the letters on here. This letters are pretty light on this blue paper and some of them are darn near impossible to read, but these bigger letters are pretty easy. But these little things, I was trying to figure out what the heck are they? Where do they go? And you can read them. You can actually read these little letters here. I just have to take a hold the uh, probe really steady over the decal sheet. Just like I'm doing right here. Reading the decal sheet by holding this little probe <laughs> over the decals. And what do you know? I can actually see and read what some of these decals say. Now, back to this little piece that I was trying to look at. This little thing right here, and you see that? There's letters and numbers on there. Uh, I can't read them at all, but we'll put that under the scope here. If I get the darn thing straightened out, right? Okay, here it is. And the mystery is solved. They are numbers and the letters. Just gotta hold the probe in the right spot. And I can actually see, oh, okay, that's what these are. I couldn't tell what they were on the decal sheet just by trying to hold up the sheet and looking at it. So I'll kind of keep the glare off it a little bit, change the angle a little bit. At least you can read it and identify it. What the heck is on this sheet. You just have to hold the probe in the right spot to get it and give you an idea how close we are. There's the edge of my finger. Let's see, read that. There you go. There's the edge of my finger. <laughs> There's my finger. Ugh. So, little itty bitty teeny weeny, hard to see, low contrast letters are finally revealed under this little scope. So now this little thing cost me about 10 bucks, 10, 12 dollars on Amazon. It was pretty cheap. And just happened to think about it not too long ago as a tool for figuring out what's on these darn decal sheets that are so tiny. So I thought I'd pass it on to anyone who uh, has trouble reading these sheets and figuring out what the heck they're looking at. And it works pretty slick. So again, we're looking at this little itty bitty strip on my desk here and it turns out you can actually read the strip I just gotta hold the camera or hold the, the uh, probe in the right spot and there we go and we start to see what's on this sheet so pretty slick oh that's my little railroading tip for tonight read these things you can use this little probe and your computer it just plugs right into my computer and there's a little piece of software that comes with it. Um, I forget what they're called, the name of them, but if you can find it, look for us Google, that's how I found it. Just Google a uh, scope that you can use to look in your ear, because that's what it's designed for. And uh, I got this for 12 bucks, 10, 15 bucks at the most with shipping. So it's got a new use for me that I can use this and read these some of these decals sheets that are just so darn small and hard to figure them out. So. Go get yourself one of these. Pretty neat little tool.